The European Organization of Nuclear Research has announced the blueprint for a cutting-edge, next-generation particle accelerator. Particle accelerators are complex machines, engineered to launch charged particles to incredible speeds, enabling scientists to recreate conditions akin to those microseconds right after the Big Bang. Their impact on scientific progress is simply monumental. Particle accelerators have revolutionized nuclear and fundamental physics to the extent that many of the discoveries by modern science would remain beyond reach without them. Contrary to popular belief, particle accelerators are not limited to the laboratories of theoretical physics. Rather, they have practical applications across diverse disciplines, including medicine and materials science. For instance, small particle accelerators are used in the medical field to identify and even counter cancer cells. These extraordinary machines hold the key to unlocking the deepest mysteries of the universe, offering unprecedented insights into the fundamental nature of reality. The benefits are countless, and that is why this new atom smasher, worth $20 billion, is too important to be ignored. The stakes could not be higher as the transformative potential of particle accelerators could reshape the entire principles of physics. But how do they actually work? Well, they work by injecting particles in a beam line, which refers to the trajectory of the beam of particles, including the overall construction of the path segment along a specific path of an accelerator facility. This is basically a pipe held at very low air pressure in order to keep the environment free of air and dust that might disturb the particles, which are now called beams. The pathway has a small region with an intense electric field, which increases the speed of the particles every time they pass through the area. The region makes use of an extremely high potential battery attached to two metal plates. The charge will start to move from the positive end to the negative end and the particles also move in the same direction, creating a strong electric field. This consistently pushes the particles with greater velocity until they're ready to be smashed into another particle, also moving at high velocity, but in the opposite direction. At full power, trillions of protons can race around the accelerator ring 11,245 times in just one second. For comparison, these particles travel at 99.9999991% the speed of light. At such high speed, controlling the trajectory is insanely difficult. The scientists have come up with a smart way to conduct this task with minimal error, which is through the use of magnets. A series of electromagnets are installed which steer and control the beams of particles throughout the pathway. So, electric fields are used to accelerate the particles, while the magnetic field focuses and steers them along the way. There are two types of accelerators, linear and circular. The linear accelerators, or LINAC as the name suggests, have a straight beam line and the particle shoots straight forward at a fixed target. Although LINAC has proven to be really significant in the field of medicine, it's not effective in understanding the physical properties of matter as LINAC takes a lot more resources and space than circular accelerators. Because the particles travel in a circle, circular accelerators take less room and create many more opportunities for particles to collide with each other. Particles collide with each other or with a target in a device called a particle detector, which helps measure the particle's speed, mass, and charge. This information allows scientists to determine what types of changes result from a collision. The collision generates heat capable of reaching the highest temperature ever recorded, which was last seen in the grand event of the Big Bang. By studying the collisions of these accelerated particles, researchers can unravel the mysteries of matter and energy, probing the deepest recesses of the subatomic world. The Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, is the largest particle accelerator yet and has a 27-kilometer-long ring which is more than the entire length of Manhattan. The LHC's beamline has a vacuum similar to that on the moon and provides a thermal shield, limiting the energy transfer from the beam to the cold mass of the magnets, which is cooled to 1.9 Kelvin, which is almost absolute zero, about minus 271.3 degrees centigrade. 
and it is the coldest temperature in the entire universe. The Large Hadron Collider sits in a tunnel hundreds of meters under the ground at CERN, on the Franco-Swiss border near Geneva, Switzerland. This model allowed for various breakthroughs in all fields of knowledge, the most significant being the discovery of a new particle, the Higgs boson, also known as the Higgs particle or the God particle. The Higgs boson is the fundamental force carrying particle of the Higgs field, which grants the other particles their mass. This groundbreaking discovery confirmed the theory circulating around the existence of the Higgs field and provides insights into the origin of mass. Particle accelerators have enabled the discovery of numerous other subatomic particles, including quarks, which are fundamental constituents of protons and neutrons, along with leptons and gauge bosons, which are carriers of the fundamental forces. These discoveries have significantly expanded scientists' understanding of the particle zoo and the underlying symmetries of nature. Moreover, accelerators have paved the way for various advancements in medical imaging and treatment, including the development of positron emission tomography, or PET scanners, that utilize positron-emitting isotopes. These allow non-invasive imaging of metabolic processes, aiding in the diagnosis and treatment of diseases like cancer. The proton therapy delivers precise radiation doses to tumors, minimizing damage to surrounding healthy tissue. The accelerators have also provided insights into nuclear physics, including studies of nuclear fusion, nuclear fission, and the synthesis of heavy elements. This has led to the confirmation of the existence of antimatter. Antimatter is matter composed of the antiparticles, of the corresponding particles in ordinary matter of the universe. They can be thought of as matter with reverse charge, parity, and time. Furthermore, antimatter had been theorized for possible use as a powerful and efficient fuel for interstellar travel or travel between stars. The study of its properties contributes to the understanding of fundamental symmetries in nature. Other than that, the research in particle astrophysics and mimicking conditions found in stars and supernovae has led to a better understanding of the synthesis of elements in the universe and the production of cosmic rays. Similarly, exploration of the properties of matter at the atomic and molecular levels has led to advancements in material science and the development of new materials for various modern applications. But the most fascinating contribution of accelerators by far is the unprecedented insights into the origins of the universe. By recreating the conditions of the early universe in high-energy collisions, scientists have been able to unravel the mysteries of cosmic evolution shedding light on the fundamental forces and particles that govern the cosmos. These discoveries not only deepen the understanding of the universe's past, but also hold profound implications for its future. Despite all this existing knowledge being impressive, it has reached the state of a plateau with no further advancements. Even the most recent accelerator is more than a decade old, and with such drastically evolving science, there is an urgent need for an upgrade. Fortunately, CERN has announced a new particle accelerator, the Future Circular Collider, or FCC. This project takes atom smashing to a whole new level due to its insane magnitude. FCC's circular ring is said to be around 100 kilometers long, which is almost four times bigger than the beamline of the Large Hadron Collider. This huge trip would be able to create a maximum energy of 100 tera electron volts, or TVs, upon the subatomic collision. For a frame of reference, the Large Hadron Collider could only achieve maximum energies of 14 TV. 16 Tesla dipoles are going to be needed to steer the average 50 TV beam over a 100-kilometer tunnel. This magnetic field is twice the strength of that found in the Large Hadron Collider. However, with great power comes great challenges, and the particle accelerators are no exception. The FCC model is said to be operational as late as 2036, along with a staggering $20 billion cost, which is the foremost challenge in particle research. Building and operating these complex machines requires substantial financial investment, often stretching the budgets of research institutions and governments to their limits. Another major challenge lies in the immense energy requirements of particle accelerators. 
achieving the high energies necessary for particle collisions demands massive amounts of electricity, leading to concerns about sustainability and environmental impact, not to mention the logistical challenges. Technological limitations and manipulation techniques pose extreme technical hurdles for researchers, which restrict the performance and efficiency of accelerator systems. But despite all these challenges, ongoing efforts and innovations continue to push the boundaries of particle accelerator research. From the development of novel accelerator concepts to the implementation of high-energy technologies, scientists and engineers are successfully pioneering smart approaches to minimize resources and maximize output for a collective advanced future. The immense impact of particle accelerators on scientific advancement cannot be overstated. They have expanded the frontiers of knowledge, pushing the boundaries of what scientists thought was impossible and revealing new insights into the fundamental nature of reality. Yet the potential remains vast and untapped, with countless mysteries still awaiting discovery. To realize the full potential of particle accelerators, continued investment and research are imperative, along with support in the development sector. Lastly, let's all appreciate the pivotal role of particle accelerators in advancing our understanding of the universe and recognize the dedication and struggle of those who strive to uncover its secrets.